Hi guys, I did um, record audio while making this, but it was starting to rain and it got really windy and you can't hear it so I'll do a little voiceover. So this is a video of me installing a hour meter on the brand new SP505R from Mountfield. A big rear roller mower, we absolutely love it so far, we've got about two hours on it and the hour meter's just arrived now so I thought I'd get it installed. Um, so in the kit you get the HT lead which I've got in the picture now, that connects to your spark plug. Um, you get the module and on the back of the module you have where the wire inserts, it's a line at the bottom and fixing screws. It's a really cheap affordable kit you can get from eBay and Amazon and I think they're only about $3.99 to $6.99 depending on how quick you get your delivery and they're really super easy to install. You can do it with the casings on um, but as you can see here you couldn't see what I was doing so I just stopped the video in a second and quickly removed the cover. There you go. So the instructions say to wrap it around three to four times. I always go six to seven times, fill the HT lead of the spark plug up as much as possible um, within reason so you can still remove it obviously for maintenance and for when you flip it over to clean it or anything like that. So you just coil it round simply um, and it comes with cable ties but again I don't use the cable ties that came with it. I use a larger cable tie I found it stands up better and holds to the unit itself much better. Right now you can see that I'm putting the cable tie on. I've coiled it round. Um, pull the cable tie tight and there you 90% of we're done. I'll do a little close but you can see they've got six coils around it there. Try and get as much as you can as I said but make sure you can still move the lead freely and cut off any excess. Um, Use a bear clip is not your mum's sewing scissors, but it's all I could find at the time. Reattach the lead, and obviously you don't have to have the lid off, so in a second I just reattach the lid of the mower. The mower's lid's pretty simple to put back on actually. Um, there's just one ball, unlike some of the older models where you had to try and find four or five trail screws that went down through the lid into the engine. Clips on, fuel cap back on. This is the like decorative cover, has the model of the engine on it and stuff like that. Yeah, that's a GoPro mount, so there's some footage coming from that. And just one bolt to the side of the air cover. Um, so now this is where you've got to try and decide where you place it. If we didn't use these mowers day in, day out, and we check them regularly for the hours, and we use the photographs for Instagram and YouTube, I would actually hide the hour meter in a much more, like, less conspicuous place. Um, but because we want to better see it, use it and check it, I put it there, directly on the front, and you won't have to drill the hole. The only reason I did that is so there's no loose cable uh, dangling across the engine because you get interference then. You need to have the cable as tight as possible in the back of the unit and from the spark plugs HT lead. Um, so as you see here, not the best way with my hand in the way, but you place the cable in the back of the module and you've got to force it in there really tight because it reads through magnetic interference or something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head right now. So right now, a little pilot hull. I've already checked behind the air cover, it's just a bit of plastic for sure. There's no fuel lines, no nothing, but make sure you check behind because you don't want to drill straight into a line or put a screw into something that shouldn't that you don't want to. Um, so you literally put your screws in. I always pre-drill the first one because it holds it in place and keeps the wire tight. The second one I just let its own thread and force it through. I've fitted a few of these are already, um, so I've pretty much got it down to a T. With the filming and that, it's taken me a little bit longer than what it would do to do it normally. Uh, but it's literally less than a five minute job. If 
you've got it tightened up, double check that your lead's right into the module. Once it's in there, it doesn't come out, but it's got to be in there tight or it won't detect it. And then any loose wire needs to be cut off because if it comes in contact with any metal, it will stop the unit from working. So now I'll move the camera around and if you can see in the left hand side of the module there's a little like black hourglass. Once you pull the engine and this is cold start, first pull done, you can see the module itself, the hourglass is flashing. You get increments of 10 for every minute it's running for up to an hour. So every increment six minutes. So when it says 1.1, it's 66 minutes and so on and so forth. Uh, thanks for watching that and please like and subscribe.